Welcome back to the channel, my name is Ben, and today I'm gonna tell you why I think Moochie is Patissa for the lore. So Moochie the Rancor made her adorable debut in The Bad Batch Episode 5, and there's been an ongoing discussion as to whether or not this is Jabba's Rancor that Luke kills in Episode 6, Return of the Jedi. I definitely think it is. It feels like everyone just sort of made a quick video about this and then skated right on by and said, it doesn't matter, use your head cannon." whatever it, it does matter it does matter this is lore folks and i really wanted to get to the bottom of this so i watched a bunch of youtubers and heard a bunch of fans talk about the subject and again it feels like we all just skated right on by this this is important people this is very important just kidding i mean literally none of this matters but let me break it down for you. So there are two obstacles to address that made everybody just rush and go ahead and say, yeah, it's probably not. It's probably just a coincidence or it's probably just a nod or it's just a, a little Easter egg or just a little fun thing that they did. And these obstacles are one, that Wikipedia says that Patissa from Return of the Jedi is male. And the second one is that Patissa is named Patissa and not Muchi. So let me explain the second one first. In the Wikipedia article for Patissa, it even says it right there that Patissa is the Huttese word for friend. Huttese is the language that all the Huts speak. So, I don't know, that doesn't really feel like a name that was given from birth. I just feel like Patissa just wasn't exactly the name of this Rancor before Jabba got her. And we even see Bib Fortuna go pick up the Rancor as a gift to Jabba. So we already know that Jabba did not name this Rancor Muchi, And we know that Jabba hasn't even met this Rancor yet. So it's very possible, and I know people have addressed this, that Jabba then renamed the Rancor Patissa, which is his word for friend. So, that's not enough for me. Then the other thing that has been stopping all the fans from believing that this is actually Jabba's Rancor from Episode 6 is the fact that it is male. And I am not seeing any concrete evidence of this. Everyone's just going ahead and assuming that it's male because in the Wikipedia article, it says it's male. But then, if you click the little footnote, the only source that says it's male is that book right there. And I really wanted to get to the bottom of this, so I obtained said book to do some research. And let me show you what's inside. I've got the page up right here, and I'll read it to you. Jabba the Hutt's drooling rancor may love gobbling up Gamorrean guards, armor and all, but the deadly beast is cherished by his keeper, Malakili. So in the book, it does say his, okay? So that's insinuating that it's a gentleman, a male rancor, if you will. So now we have to ask the question, how much are we trusting this little gimmicky book with all of our Star Wars lore. This book was released after Disney obtained the rights for Star Wars, but whoever wrote that little blurb could have just made that up. They could have just assumed her gender. They could have just assumed that Moochie was a male when in fact now Bad Batch has retconned or clarified that Moochie or Patissa is actually a female Rancor. This book was written by, I got it right here, this book was written by Adam Bray, Kerry Doherty, Cole Horton, and Michael Coggy. I don't know any of these people. They wrote a, a very cute little book. I read through the whole thing. There's a bunch of really cool little fun facts in here. I'm not saying it's not credible at all, but, you know, gender norms, society has forced us to think that a big, strong monster has to be male, but... I think Dave Filoni is saying something else here in Bad Batch. I think he's saying that Patissa actually is female, and her original name is Moochie, and Patissa was just a little nickname that Jabba the Hutt gave her. So there you have it. I think they are the exact same Rancor. They even have the same shoulder pads. I mean, who has the exact same shoulder pads? Like, 
What, you think there's just a standard shoulder pad that they both ordered on Amazon? Maybe, maybe the Amazon Choice shoulder pads? I don't think so. I think these are the exact same Rancor. I understand now Disney is canon, but I guess there are now some things, including these books, that we can't totally, totally trust. For now, I totally trust the movies and the TV shows and everything in those to be consistent and canon, and they've been doing an excellent job so far, but I wouldn't hold this to be the reason why we all think Patissa is male. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Is there something that I'm missing here? This is important, people. We, we need to be discussing this. This all just, whew, went over people's heads. We just moved on. We're like, ooh, Cad Bane. Ooh, ooh, inhibitor chips. Ooh, Captain Rex. Ooh, are we gonna see Boba Fett? No, 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 slow down. Slow down. We need to find an answer to this. This is important. This is V-I. V-I. Very important. This is for the Lord.